Welcome to today's video, which is gonna be a very exciting one. We're gonna be moving the abandoned S15 for the first time in years. And we actually got a little bit more information about the guy that scammed everyone up here in Okinawa. Apparently, this wasn't his first rodeo and he had already done it once in Okinawa, gone back to the mainland, done it again, and then came back to Okinawa where he did it again to everyone. And then now he's back in the mainland, supposedly doing it again. Um, but we found out some more information about some of these cars that were here. And these were all like cars that people had paid him a bunch of money to get them shipped to them over in the USA and store them here. And he just, yeah, abandoned them and ran away and took their money. So these cars are people's cars. And if any of you guys that are watching this own these cars that are here, you know, this Chaser, um, this Skyline that's now like missing panels, like lights and stuff like that. Um, you can get in contact with Cap26. Um, his YouTube channel will be down in the description again. And if you can get him all the paperwork and information to prove that you own the car, he can help with like, you know, getting power attorney and then getting someone to pick this up and actually get it to you. Or if the car's too far gone from sitting here for the last few years, just to the weather and everything, he can uh, probably help with getting it parted out and whatnot. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really sad, honestly. Like, like this Hachiroku, this uh, Cresta, and then this uh, 90 Chaser. So if any one of you guys are watching this actually are the owners of these cars and you have the paperwork, um, you can get in contact and hopefully I mean, something can happen with them. It just sucks because like this person's obviously taking advantage of a bunch of people and it's, uh, I mean, it infuriates me and I'm sure it infuriate a lot of other people in the car community that this person literally just took everyone's money, left their cars out here to rot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and get this thing some power to it today. Uh, we got the jumper leads all hooked up to the good old Honda. Get some power into it. Um, look, I know it's not gonna start. The information I have is that valves hit pistons. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Um, we do also know that, th I, I know that this is a stroker motor now as well, which is good information. <clears throat> so I do know that this is like a 2.1 or a 2.2, which we'll figure out later. But um, we have a tow truck coming right now. So that's gonna come up here. We're gonna get this thing onto a tow truck today and to a much better location where we can have a better look at it. So today's all about getting this thing out of the jungle. You excited to see this thing out of here? Dude, I can't wait, man. Me either. I'm excited for this moment. Ever since I first contacted you, I'm... I'm really hyped. Can't believe it's happening. I'm excited to see this thing get out of here. Hell yeah. Is too, like, see this I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and crank it and just see what it sounds like. It's probably not a good idea, but I just wanna know if it's like, you know, if anything's moving in there. It could fire up. Yeah, you never know. I don't think it will. I, I do not think it will. Um, just from the stories we've heard, like apparently, yeah, there's some nasty things going on in the in there, but I just want to like hear it crank once and just confirm that because you know, it's all rumors and hearsay at this point, right? Until no one really knows, right? So I'm going to get in there and just crank it. I'm going to give the camera to you. Yeah. Yep. Got, uh, we got all the leads. No, not yet. So we got to move the battery and the Sylvia. Okay, that's easy. I got this. What we do here on the channel guys from building cars, drifting, and then breaking said cars, it obviously adds up very, very quickly. So that's why I'm always really grateful to those companies that choose to partner with me and the channel and the brand and what we do. And uh, as you guys know, we've been working with Gamersups now on the channel and we just actually gave you guys a bunch of these free samples, which I'm sure most of you already have. You guys killed it. A thousand free samples in the first 24 hours is ridiculous. But you've all had it now, so if you like it, why don't head to gamersups.gg right now, grab yourself a couple tubs. Seriously, one tub, you get 100 servings. It's like 30 bucks. Work that out, what's that, three, three, 30 cents an energy drink? That's so cheap. You go to the gas station and buy some other random one, it's gonna cost you three, four bucks. You're gonna save so much money and you can put that money into your bills just like this. So, I love Gamers Ops. They've been a huge supporter of the channel and there's so much cool stuff coming in the future that they're a part of that I can't wait to show you guys. But head to their website right now, use coupon code SAMIT and get yourself some energy. This is seriously every day when I know I've got a big one, this gets me through it. But wait, free shipping when you use code SAMIT for only a limited time. <laughs> Thank you so much GamerSelfs for sponsoring today's video. Guys, once again, head there, get your stuff, let's go. All right, let's put power to this thing. Oh, that turn was a bit loose. Push that down a bit more. All right, I think we're good. You got the key? Ooh, get the key, yeah. All right. 
Let's see. You got enough room? Yeah. I All right. Snake in, snake in here. Yeah, don't scratch the paint on the Honda now. Yes. <laughs> All right. Wait, neutral. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Red to red, black to black? Yeah, let's go check. Maybe something's just loose. It looks like it looks like you don't have a, a good connection oh. here. There. There you go. Alright. Yep, there we go. Oh, I heard something. Yo, Dash is all turning on. Dash is turning on. Yeah. This little Defi gauge is on. Dude, this Nismo cluster has 1,900 kilometers on it. That's awesome. Half a tank of gas, that scares Half me. Half a tank of gas? That scares me. That means we're going to have to deal with some rust stuff probably on just a hanger. Yeah. Um, we're in neutral. What are you waiting on? <laughs> no pressure. It's all you. Power windows work? Power windows work. All right, Can I we get the passenger side down? I just want to hear... Might move. That regulator might be out. Yeah. Um, I just want to hear what this sounds like if we try to crank it. Do you want me to take the camera over to the front, to yeah. the engine? Yeah. All right. Watch your leg. Yep. Okay. All right. Before, before we do anything, I don't want this to, um, you know, let's just say it does start. I don't want it to because there's no way that this thing has oil in the head because, like, it's been sitting for so long. So I'm going to unplug the cam angle sensor um, because if this does crank, um, you want some oil to flow and get to the head before mm. it starts over, right? Because it's been sitting for so long. Does it have oil? Hang on. There might be oil. I haven't even checked if this has oil, so I'm going to just check that real quick. What the hell? I mean, it has oil. Yeah, it has oil. That's weird, though. It looks kind of weird. All right, let's just, let's just see. Let's just see, is it gonna crank at all? Do I need to stand back like 10 feet? Ah, nah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Fingers crossed, man. Yeah. See how she sounds. Fuel pump works. Yeah, I hear it. All right, fire in the hole. Not enough juice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's spraying fuel from the fuel pressure regulator. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, it's spraying fuel. It's spraying a good bit. It's spraying a good bit. You smell it? Like a lot? Yeah, it's squirting out right here. Okay. Yeah. Looks like it's not going to crank. There's not enough juice in the battery. Um, How much is it spraying? I mean, right here, this is a bad connection. I don't know if it's just from, like, sitting for a long time. Yeah. But it's spraying right out here, and it was shooting down here in the into the grass. Yeah, all right, we're gonna leave this in. Yeah. I don't want to start a fire. Yeah. No, last time I asked Yeah, you can smell it now, a little bit. Yeah, it smells like good gas, though. That's yeah, 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 it gas. smells fresh. I mean, fresh-ish. I still wanted to hear it crank. Yeah, you want to let it charge up for a little bit? Maybe, yeah, maybe. We'll just let it, let us see if we can get any kind of charge on it. I mean, it's got air suspension. Do we have to, like, pump it up? Like, I don't even know, man. I don't know how it works. I mean, the controller should be in there. Yeah, I don't see the controller anymore. It might be... That, that... Is that for the Defi gauges right there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see a controller for air. Oh, here it is. Does it turn on? No. No power? No power. No power to air lift. I mean, it looks like it's all disconnected in the back of that air yeah. lift up anyway, so... That explains that. What is this? Is there any lights on right now under the car? Uh, let me see. No, nothing under. Oh, headlight. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the driver's side's working. Well, it's actually really strange. The driver's side little LED strip is working, but the passenger side... Oh, there they go. I think they fired up. Yeah, these headlights. Uh, Not looking that great. No, so the daylight or the daytime running lights on the driver, or excuse me, on the passenger side are yeah. on. The projectors are not, and then the LED strip here. Oh, this guy's so on. Weird. Yeah. Okay. Dude, this is kind of fun though, like figuring out what's working. Yeah. 
All right. Well, I mean, it's not going to start and run. I don't really know what's going on with the engine. Homemade powered pamphlet here. Head gasket. Hmm. That probably confirms even more. Yeah. What's going on? Um, okay, well, I'll give it one last go. One more go? Let's see if it'll turn over once. All right. Yeah, it's spraying a good bit of fuel. Yeah. Not enough juice at all. Bomber! Dude, you can sell the fuel. Yeah. Oh! Woo! Smell it! Well... That's that, then. Ugh! That's that. Hey, at least the driver's side regulator works. Yeah. <laughs> My only concern is if we need to airlift this, you know, like get it lifted. Get it up. lifted, yeah. Um, so I'm just trying to see, like, like, do we have to hook this up to some power to be able to get it to lift up more, or I don't, I just don't know. I don't know anything about airlift system. Like this has all just been cut off, you know? Yeah. Like, seems like this has a trigger wire as well. Yeah, I just don't know, like, does it need air or what? Like, I, I have no idea. All of this is all unplugged, it all comes into oh, here. Oh, were you able to straighten the wheel? No, because I think we need to, it needs to come out at an angle. Sounds like our truck is here. Hey. Hey, Brett's here to save the day. I mean, hopefully we don't have to air it up. Like, the air hoses are all disconnected, so I don't even think it could air up if we yeah. wanted it to. It was worth a try, but unfortunately, this thing ain't gonna crank unless we get something a little bit more beefier for it. Also, this thing's leaking a lot of fuel, so... <laughs> it's kind of a risk if we try anything at this point. Well, I'll close up for now. Get this Honda out of here. This is gonna be fun. Alright, here we go. We're pulling it out of the jungle. Oh man, this thing has not moved in years. This feels so special. Yeah, we tried, uh, I tried to see if it was gonna crank. It's moving. Okay, yeah, it's pretty high off the ground, dude. I think that we're gonna be okay. It's pretty high. Oh man, this is so cool. Are you hyped? Dude. This is so cool. <laughs> it's moving. It's moving. We it's literally moving. pulled this out of the jungle. All right, the bed's about to hit the inner cooler. Yeah, let's push it back. And then um, we can uh, then slide wait. the... I got it, I got it. Yeah. Yep. Hang on. All right, good. You good? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right, all right. That's much better. Uh, try it over top of this side. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I don't mind. I'm not too Hey, Sam, it worked. Those ribs are fat. <laughs> Getting me to work. All right, let's see if she's going to come up. Yeah, we good. She's coming. How does it look on that side? Looks good. We got a bunch of space on that side, so if you want to move it over a bit. Off this side. Bit this way. Yeah, we good. We gooch. Yeah, we good. If you just keep it straight like that now, we good. Oh my gosh. Dude, this was insane. That's why I bought this truck. Yeah, I got one too. They're so good, right? Dude, this is so awesome. I'm so excited. This thing sat for how many years? Two years? 
Yeah, we're good on both sides. Yeah. Uh, we're good this side. It's just stop, stop for a sec. Our inner cooler is going to hit the uh, stops on the way up, the wheel stops. Yeah. 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 Bring her up. Looking good. There we go. She's up. Woo. Oh man, I'm so excited. Now we can kind of get a real good look at this. I know. That's where she used to be. Looks like a bit of a oil leak. We're gonna work out what's wrong with this thing and get her all fixed up. My gosh, look how wide this is. And now it's up on the truck. We ready to go? That's it. Dude, I can't believe that. We got it out. Oh. Pretty simple. Dude, Brett, I can't thank you enough, man. Brett's actually helping us out majorly with this. He's helping me get this back to the mainland and sorting out everything. And I just want to give him a quick plug because he reached out to me and he's really like just helping me out so much. Um, if you guys need to get anything from mainland or all that kind of stuff or ship stuff there or even export stuff or if you want a car, he's the hookup. Z, Z works, right? Auto Shop Z. Auto, Auto Shop Z. Auto Shop Z. Um, I'll put a link to his email or website or company info down in the description. Okay. But yeah, thank you so much, Brett. I really appreciate this. It's insane to see this thing out of that hole. The go to guy. People told me it hit you up a long time ago to get it pulled out of here, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. so awesome. As well as now we know everything we need to do for paperwork for this. So, like I said, if anyone who owns these cars wants to get the same thing and the car sorted out, hit you guys up. Yeah. Make it happen. You're, you're here definitely. I'll be here for a few more months. Yeah. It's a shame. Dude, hell yeah. Yeah, there's, so you have permanent representation in Okinawa. Yeah. For real. Thank you so much. I'm excited. I mean, I still don't know if I'm going to, I don't know, should I make a rocket bunny again or what? I, I just don't know. It's pretty much there. It's almost there. It's already cut. It's already cut. <laughs> we definitely need to fix some of the surface rust that's come through from the cuts, but... Actually, I'm surprised it's as good as it is. To be honest, me too. Like, dude, dude, okay, we need to air this for sure. Look, it's starting to touch the tire. Yeah. I think the air suspension's a little sad. We might just need to hook up a battery to the pump and put some air in it. Yeah, that's probably why it was so hard to pull out. Hey, check out the, the diff. You huh? can see the diff now on the rear end. Yeah. Oh, the diff's missing? No, 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 it's there. No, I'm saying you can see the diff now. Like, <coughs> oh, I can see the diff now? Yeah. Oh, cool, it's got a cool look, purple it's hanger. titanium exhaust. Yeah, dude. that's a titanium exhaust. That's kind of cool. Yo, look, dude, the uh, underbody looks pretty good. Yeah. It's got a full skyline back. subframe too. What the hell? You see that? Yeah. It's got the skyline subframe and brakes. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to figure out to get some air into this suspension then. Man. So, typically with the air suspension, there should be an air chuck. And all you gotta do is just add air to the tank, like from a, a tire fill station. You should be able to air it up. Oh, really? Most air systems have a redundancy okay. in them that the fail, the pump fails, you should be able to air it up. Okay, I'll have a quick look. Um, Cause we gotta hook up battery anyways to put the window back up. So, yeah, I'll look at that right now. So I've managed to jerry-rig up some stuff here and we've got the, the air pump working now. Um, I don't know if any of this is gonna work just because this doesn't have a tank, the tank's been stolen out of it. Um, so I've just put, I don't know anything about air suspension stuff, but what I've gotten done is connected the pump to the tank port and I hope that that's gonna somehow feed some air into these. Is it lifting that at all? Oh, uh, let me see. I just don't know. I don't know if you have to use the controller on the inside. But it wasn't lighting up, right? No. It wasn't receiving power? I'm just hoping this is pushing air into them, but I, I just don't know. Yeah, well, it's supposed to have a tank, right? What's up with these two batteries in here? These ones, I don't know. Could have been to help feed that. So, worst case, you just jack it up and put it off. Yeah. So I'm able to wait for the pump to get to a certain PSI, and then I can force air into the tire manually. Oh, I feel it lifting. It's going up, it's going up. Yep, now I gotta chill for a bit. 
Which one's going up? The back left. Oh, back left, back left is clear now. All right, cool, cool, cool. Look at that. It's going up a little bit more. Look at that. This fender was sitting on the tire here a second ago. Yep. Yeah, it's going up even more. Look at that. Look at all that clearance now. Hey, you can take this thing off-roading. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving at 55. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do the other back one now. Alright, let me, let me come around. Okay, we're at like 160 feet high. Here we go. Thumbs up the back. Nope, that's not it? No. Hey, my tank's low, man. Maybe these buttons are just all mixed up. <laughs> so, you got a lot of space on this passenger side here. Yeah, you got that side up, that was a problem, child. Any more of these going up? I don't feel it. I got my thigh on it right now. Let's see if it goes up. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. It's going up. There you go. Looks like there's a leak in that back bag. Yeah. It's slowly going down. On the back left? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the back one, right's going up. The back right was holding there. You got like a, probably like a pinky finger gap. There you go. This is kind of cool. I kind of want air suspension now. Air right. suspension is cool until it doesn't work. And then yeah, you that's hate right. It. And then you're sitting here dealing with <laughs> every, this, right? Every cell. Whoa, system. the front's going up. Every cell. All right, I think we're good for now. I'll just put a little bit more in there. Seems like it's doing its job, so I'm glad we got this working. You can take it off-roading now. Pretty much? Yeah, it's a rally car. It's nice and high. But this motor is boiling hot. Oh, it's not too bad. No, it's, it's not bad. But yeah, we got air in it. That's all that matters. So, I guess the air suspension works. That's kind of cool. I might be able to sell that if... I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Now, now I'm kind of like, man, maybe we should put Rocket Bunny back on it and make it like a cool street car again. I mean... This has a lot of potential and I really, honestly, I don't know what I want to do with it now. Now, now I'm like, oh dude, air suspension is kind of cool, you know? <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, we got this thing on the truck. We're going to move it to Brett's shop. And from there, I mean, I'll have a little bit of a look at it tomorrow, but the car is now moving for the first time in years. So, feels good. We got it out of the jungle. Right on time. Yo, that air suspension brought this thing up real high. Okay then, <laughs> it's monster truck status now. This S15 is huge. <laughs> That's actually sick. I didn't realize it lifted it up so high. So a bunch of time has passed. As you can see, it's gotten a lot darker. Hey, we good. And uh, some things have progressed on this whole story of the shop. And I'm really excited because we might be able to save some people's cars. So we're gonna jump in the car and head home, but once again, if anyone was screwed over by this shop, I'm pretty sure that we're all gonna be able to help you guys because we found some stuff.